Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to go into how I set up my plots and how I set up the cues. There is a little strategy going doing all that in regards if you have more than one temp drive. So let's dive into that. Before we go, I want to say thank you guys for subscribing, visiting my videos or watching my videos and liking them. If you could continue doing that, that would be awesome. It keeps me motivated and it keeps me pushing out content similar to this. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it more going forward as I progress and get a little better in my edits and uh, video contents that I'm delivering to you guys. So let's go. Okay guys, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add plots if you have multiple temp drives and you have multiple drives that you plan to farm from. Uh, obviously those will be your main storage. So let's go look at the external hard drive that I have set up here, which is the Seagate 10 terabyte. Now let's treat each directory in this, what you're seeing before you as four different drives or uh, four different you know drive letters or whatever you want to see it as right right now we're just using this as an example so drive one would be one of our our farm drives where we store the, the main storage drive two obviously will be the same and then drive three and four okay so how I had a setup in my rig and how I actually figured out how I was trying to figure out how to put all these cues and and you know separate them to different drives so it's not utilize it's not all going into one temp drive because i have two and let's just say i decided to add three later on same applies to that so let's begin so we would add a plot well, for the most part i have left all this default and we can see here the 239 gigs has actually went down from what it was originally at 356 so this is a nice feature that they did but i would leave this as default and then choose your number of plots. Now let's just say, because in my example, I have a eight core processor. So I could run simultaneously, I could parallel four different plots at the same time. Now what I was doing originally was going plots in parallel and I selected four. But this limits me because it's going to uh, only allow me to push it over to one temp directory, one final directory. We didn't want that. And I learned that the hard way because I was putting the plots and I saw in other videos where they were queuing them up. So I was saying, if I have 239 gigs, times that by four, one terabyte would not be able to hold all that. And it would fail because I'm trying to run in parallel. My processor is able to uh, satisfy the need of four parallel plots running at the same time but my one terabyte drive would not be so what did I end up doing so then I finally figured out that what I need to do is if I was to run four parallel plots right what I would do is add them as a queue and I would set maybe five six ten whatever number you want to be consecutively run right after the first one so let's hypothetically say we're going to run three plots on this one setup. Uh, what it's going to do first is going to take the first plot and start processing that. The other two is actually going to be your queue. So let's just say this is plot group 01. Okay. And I did not disable bit field and I did not check off exclude final directory. So here I'm going to select my new drive, which we're going to treat as a, these are independent drives, right? So I'm going to do drive three. This is a, my, one of my temp drives. Okay. Physically, it would be one of my temp drives. Now this temp drive can satisfy the full temp directory writing, which is 239 gigs. All right. And then of course I will select the uh, C, uh, then I'll do one of the farms. And this is how I did it. I staggered them across. So here, once I hit create plot, it would plot the first one in its group one and then queue up the other two. But this, you're thinking, hey, this is only uh, running one plot. How am I gonna run four plots consecutively? Well, that's easy. So we will go back here. I will leave that the default again. Let's create another three. 
But of course, in this option, we're going to call it, oops, let's put it in the same naming convention, plot02. All right. And I'm going to have three, I'm going to have Qs, and then I'm going to, this time, because I have enough room on my first temp to accommodate another, you know, writing of a plot, which is 239 plus 239 is way under the one terabyte, I can select that and I'll still have room for it. Now, and then the final destination, you can choose to put it back in the same location as your first one, or you can stagger it to your second one. But either way, it's, it's you know, storage is a storage. If it exceeds and you can see that it's going to exceed eventually, then you just select the other drive. But right now, as for example, we're just going to put it into the same drive one directory. Select folder. So there we have it, right? So now if we create the plot, it's going to plot, it's almost like offsetting, right? Because that's already at 1% and now we're starting at zero. But what's going to happen now, this first group one is going to run and then plot zero two is going to run. So, and then it's going to have its own queue. But right now you're still thinking, hey, that's only two consecutively, right? So then we add another one. Now what I want to do is create this as let's just say it's plot 03 and I'll leave everything else as default because I have a eight you know I have eight cores they can accommodate two per core so that's four plots in parallel okay so now I know that if I was to put this on to I still have some room on my my first temp drive but I don't want to overload it. I don't want to run into the risk of possibly uh, exceeding the amount of temporary space in that one terabyte. Because to be honest, when you get, when you buy a one terabyte, it's not a full one terabyte. So to be on the safe side, I'm just going to select it and put it into the temp drive, the, the second temp drive that I have, and I'm going to select that. And of course, I could choose to put it back into the farm one, which I have a huge storage, or I could just put it into the second farm. And for this demonstration, we'll just put it into the second drive of this farm and just do that. So now, and just to make sure of all the, the configs, and then I'll create plot. So now I am running three consecutively. So now you have one, two, three plots running in parallel and is utilizing two, four, six threads, right? So now you have because, and I'll quickly just show you, let's just say the performance, I have eight threads here. So I can potentially, I mean, this is just an example. This machine is not all that powerful. You can see it's one of the older generations of the i7 and just from the three plots, I'm already over utilizing. It doesn't even matter how many threads I have, I'm over utilizing the PC. But for the example of this, if you were to have a newer generation chip, that does have eight threads or more, you would run them like this. So you add another plot, right? Eventually this machine is going to crash out uh, because it can't handle all this. Uh, plot zero 04. And I know now for sure, if I was to put this 239 um, into the existing first temp drive, if we had put all these into the first temp drive, it wouldn't have been able to create it successfully. It would have failed. So that's why if I had two temp drives, I'm able to run all four in parallel because I can accommodate the space. All right. Now, just remember, even though your processor can process four in parallel, your storage, your temp directory needs to be able to accommodate that writing at that time. So if I do this right now, and it would populate with the pl plot four and it will start plotting. So now you actually have four running in parallel and two queued for each one. So once these four are done, it would take the queue of each one and continue that process and so on and so forth. So that's pretty much what I did on my machine. Lesson learned was, you know, I was trying to figure out how to run them in parallel you could run it in parallel 
but you're limiting yourself to only selecting one temp destination. Let's just say your machine was able to run eight in parallel, right? And you had, this is your initial configuration. You left it the way it is and you had to choose a temp directory. But let's just say your temp directory was only one terabyte. It was, it would be no way that your temp directory in one terabyte would be able to handle eight times 239 gigs of space. You would need to have more to accommodate the eight parallel plots as is writing as temp files. That is the reasoning why I did what I did because right now I'm taking group one and all well, the plot one and plot zero two, putting it into one drive. And then I'm taking plot three and plot four, I'm putting into the second temp drive. And that is the reason why we are doing it this way. So you can see if all these were to populate, it will not overtax the space that's on those drives. So if these were one terabyte drives, then each one would be sufficient enough to handle at least two at a time. You wouldn't run more than four if your processor couldn't handle it anyway. That is what I did for my machine. But of course, if you have a more powerful machine, you just have to make sure that you have uh, a temp directory that's sufficient enough to do the, the temp file writing as it's doing its thing. And then once it completes, it becomes that 101 gig file and it's ready for farming. That's where it would sit in these two drives. So uh, plot 01 and 02 will be in here because that's what I selected. And then three and four will sit in drive two. Now I stagger it just in the case of if an issue was to arise with one of the drives. Let's just say I only had one temp drive. If that temp drive was to fail, I would not be able to plot anymore. Or if I would, if one of the farm drives was to fail, I would pretty much be really upset because I'll lose all my plots. So I'll stagger it, but I am buying pretty large drives, which is 16 terabytes. So housing 16 terabytes of plots is a significant amount. And if it ever fills up and I lose the drive, yes, it would be a total loss because I am not backing these up. There's no way I can back these up. If I was to buy the extra storage, I would probably utilize it just to store new plots, not to keep backup copies of plots. That's debatable. I'm sure some people, uh, if they really uh, wanted to, they can back it up. But for this case, I think what we have, they're all new hardware. Hopefully they last as long as the um, trend of this Chia. And I think that pretty much sums it all up. So right now we have a 100% utilization. There's eight logical processors that are all running. It's a four core. I want to thank you guys for joining me and I'll probably have a, a few more quick tutorials in similar fashion. So please comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoy this content, if this you found this helpful in any shape, way, or form. Thank you again, bye.